This is the new MLB Spring Breakout Series where the league's top prospects compete against each other on the big stage. And we got exclusive access to see future stars like Paul Skeens, Jackson Holiday, and Max Clark go head to head. Plus we got a VIP tour of a major league spring training complex. So first let's go to game one where Paul Skeens and the Pirates face off against Jackson Holiday and the Orioles. Alright guys, we're here in Bradenton, Florida. We got an insane matchup coming up. Predictions for Skeens versus Holiday? Thinking it's going to be hard ground ball to shortstop. Jackson might be close to the bag, but it's going to be an out. Jackson finds a piece up the middle for a single. single. Just single. Nothing fancy. Jackson's our guy, but I think Skeens rings him up. 100 mile an hour fastball down the pipe. Just can't catch up to it. That's my guess. So Skeens is warming up right now. We gotta get down there to get some footage. It's gonna be an electric game. So we should head down there and get some food too. Let's go, boys. Koi on the beat. game as Major League Baseball showcases the game's top prospects you and he just said try this how about 101 101 102 holiday skeins already is fired up I'm fired up everyone's quiet fouled off I believe that was That's gas hard. I don't know how hard it was but that was it's gas got me a board Oh, wow. Full count, baby. 3-2. He, he looks a little off. The slider, answer. whatever happens here, is going to be all over social media. Yeah. I'm actually just going to make contact. 100 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. nasty pitch. Wow. What was that? Slider <laughs> changeup. I can tell. It was slow. It was slider changeup. I don't really know. You guys will see. But yeah, that was nasty. I think we might see each other again. But if not, that was a really cool peek into the future of what Major League Baseball is going to look like. And after that electric at-bat from two future stars, we saw another peek into the future of baseball, this time using a new rule where technology can actually correct an umpire's wrong call. Uh-oh, here we go. First challenge. Catcher is challenging the call. Oh. That's so crap. Catcher challenging the call. Yeah, What's going on here? Catcher challenging the call of ball. The previous pitch has been challenged. See that? That's crazy. That's insane. Oh, you can see it on the 3D. That's a ball. Strike. It touches. Oh, it touches. That is ridiculous. That is a pretty cool. clip. The showing it in real time is kind of electric. Yeah. That's the crowd kind just of... kind of went rowdy. Yeah. After an exciting night in Bradenton, we headed over to Fort Myers to see some more top prospects who you guys will probably know. Coming up, we're seeing a familiar face in the channel, Max Clark of the Detroit Tigers. And in addition to that, we're getting an exclusive look at what a day as a top prospect looks like with some exclusive access and a tour of the Minnesota Twins facility. Minnesota Twins minor leaguers live in a place called the Player Development Academy, which is connected to their official spring training complex. It's relatively similar to some of the top colleges we've toured in the past, just instead of a team of 35 guys, they have to accommodate for over 100 minor leaguers. These guys get to take full advantage of things like a 24-hour cafeteria, lecture hall, game room, and this is all in the same building as where they actually live. So we saw the cafeteria, now of course we got to taste test some food. We just serve ourselves? Yeah, just like everybody else. I love food. Just like everybody else. Let's do it. We've got protein, we've got vegetables, we've got panini. I'm pumped to try it out. Let's do it. Very good. That's I think it's from it just hits right. Perfect. I don't know what's on this. It's like some glaze stuff on this chicken. Overall, this dish is a 9.6. Obviously, they've been super nice to us, and you'd think maybe I could be biased. I'm not. I'm unbiased. This is money. After trying out the food the players eat, we got to tour the facilities they use on a daily basis. I'm really excited to show you guys this because even as a fan, I didn't know minor leaguers were hooked up this well. And I actually didn't know they lived in dorms like college. And this place was amazing, so you guys are not going to want to miss it. So this is Champions Hall. This is the area where all the all the players come together for a lot of different things. You know, guest speakers lectures, just kind of how the day is going to play out. Mostly our minor leaguers use this, but the big league side does come over and do some things as well. It's a grind, 162 games, but you got to let loose a little bit too. And what we try to do for the younger players that stay in the dormitory, so we're in the middle, we're on the bottom floor yep. of the dorm, and this is the game room. This is chill awesome. room. So there's billiards and shuffleboard and foosball, ping pong. Watching TV, watching movies, you see a lot of brotherhood, I guess. Yeah, build this team space. camaraderie um, around here. Yeah, yeah. Their education, oh, nice. learn how to use computers if they need it, English and Spanish class. Classes, some mental health training yeah. and things of that nature on the side. So, the arch yeah, I mean, again, this is their house. Yeah, this is where yeah they live. Sure, so, yeah. You know, sometimes you see some guys cooking you out. You know, a typical classroom. I never would.
would have thought classrooms. Like I just, just, I never put that together in my head. Like yeah, you got to remember not everybody goes to college, right? Yeah. They, they they get drafted sometimes uh, straight out of high school. Mm -hmm. They'll do stuff at night for uh -huh. those that live here. And if you don't live here, you can still show up and participate if you choose. Yeah, get some work done. After touring the academy, we saw their hitting facility where guys were getting some work in. Then inside the weight room, saw some of the fields at the complex, including the main field, Hammond Stadium, where the Twins' home spring training games are actually played. Fort Myers, Florida, it's getting a little hot now too, so we're just excited yeah. for a good day. Tony is a legitimate Twins fan from Minnesota. Shout How out is Minnesota. this for you? Show the this is awesome. This is awesome. Six Minnesota, five, six on five one guy. Minnesota kid. You know the vibe. It's Kalen from Major League Baseball here. He works you know, for MLB. I work for the for the league. You know what I mean? They're gonna think you're capping. <laughs> like, yeah, you do. Sure, you. Do. Let's go, baby. Go Twins. All right, let's go see this clubhouse. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. What has changed since you played for the facilities that the guys get now to access the stuff? That well, you got more stuff now available to you. At the end of the day, the game is the same. You know, you still got to play it. You still have to throw. You still have to catch it. Yeah. You still have to do a lot of things. So it's the main essence of the game. It is great. I'm still learning, so I'm getting everything yeah. up to date of everything is happening. But so far, it's, it's been good. Cool, this is great. Thank you. So all right, great you guys take you. care. All right, yes, sir. Have fun, man. All right, guys. I appreciate take care. you, boss. No, no hay problema, amigos. <laughs> After touring the stadium, we got to meet the Twins' president of baseball operations, Derek Falvey. Derek plays a major role in trades, acquisitions, call-ups, and other big picture decisions for the organization. So I'm really honored I got to sit down and ask him some questions. You know, what I get to do every day is I get to help foster a culture, build an environment, create a team that gives us a chance to to go perform but also to help grow and develop our staff, our players, and everything we get to do. It's a dream job. How'd you go from someone from like kind of a small town in Massachusetts to like a very successful career? How'd you get to that point? Too many people here know, or they hear that sounds like a crazy idea, so you know, why would you do that? If you're afraid to fail, you'll never try. You'll never do it. So don't be afraid to fail. And we tell our players the same thing, but if you have a good plan for how to do it, and you're really committed to it, and you believe in it, give it a shot. You don't want to look back and worry about the shots you didn't take. Yeah, that's a great way to end. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really thanks appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate for the it. time. We're excited to watch some baseball today. Awesome. So before the Twin Spring breakout game later that day, we met up with Charlie Soto, who he actually visited down in his hometown last year and made this video. He ended up being a first round pick for the Twins last summer, and he wanted to give us a look inside what his dorm looks like at the Player Development Academy just a few hours before his outing later that day. This is the room. Ooh, mm. not terrible. Oh, this is nice. Did they buy the bed for you? Yeah, it was it was here when we got here. the PS5. These are some of like the players that play for the twins. So like he wore number nineteen, so this is room nineteen. So like, it yeah. all correlates. Y'all seen our shower? Look at our shower. He's doing all right. Look at our shower, bro. Are we flexing the shower right now? Yeah, we someone's gotta try it out. I'll try it out. Yo, know, dude's got toilet diamonds. paper. Diamonds. 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 And diamonds. those are third floor. This is you go to college, pretty much. This is so yeah. basic. Y'all got inside access. They don't let nobody Dude, in. yeah, how weird is that? We're just here. Yeah. Right? Anything to say to the people? Um, stay tuned for later. That's all I gotta say. Wait, Dan, I can do it. Look, it's Charlie. But yeah, use that camera. Yeah, he yeah. We know that guy! So Charlie's not starting, but he's just warming up on the backfield right there. Leo's here, he's got the dripped out jerseys that we got earlier. I don't know if we talked about that. We got these sick jerseys. Shout out New Balance. Look at the cleats! Ooh! Check the bottom, check the bottom. Yo, those are crazy. Yeah, you got all 32's a tough number, too, bro. Rocking my badge number, bro. I'm not even stressed, bro. Gotta lock in. Good luck, Let's go, baby. Good luck, bro. So the Twins spring breakout game just started. Up in Lakeland, the Tigers are playing and our boy Cage is up there filming for Max Clark. So we're gonna try to show you guys two different perspectives of what's going on down here and also up there. And I think Charlie just got called into the bullpen to warm up, which is gonna be sick. So we're gonna watch him pretty much like on the field as he pitches. So let's check in with Cage and Max up in Lakeland. What's up guys? This is Cage from Mac Media here with John behind the camera doing some content for DSARM. We're here at the MLB Spring Breakout watching Max Clark from Detroit Tigers. Already a great start. We see the top of the batting lineup is Max. That's gonna be great. And then other rookie, Aiden Miller. Third baseman, it's gonna be great. Let's see the matchup. Well, I'll retry Fry though. Oh, that was great. I would say seven out of 10. I don't know where the eight out of 10 came from earlier, but they're good. I'll say one, two, three, and then say go back, all right? One, two, three. Go Max! Perfect, thank you guys. Koi on the beat.
A chance to see baseball's best prospects. Welcome to Major League Baseball's Spring Breakout. Max Clark to lead things off for the Tigers. Troy Tigers' number one overall prospect. The two swing at a high fly ball left field. It's going to push Walton back. He's got the shades on. Now I'm going to move left. He'll make the catch, and Clark retired for the first out. Almost time for big 3 2. Let's get in there. There he is. He's going in. Let's go. The guy that uh, the Twins people, Chris, are very excited about is Charlie Soto. Charlie Soto, first round pick, 34th overall last year. People forget he's 18. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. 98 mile on our single, 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 single off a sinker. Single off a sinker down the middle. Oh, <laughs> oh no, that was change up. That added to the situation. That was a nice piece of hitting right there. Well, I got it. Nope. Oh, almost gone about the plate. Oh, that's oh, brutal. Come on. Oh, that squeezed. No, 97. That was just outside. Hey, bro. Oh. Nice. Damn. Love you, Charlie. That oh boy, what a fight. Proud of you. Yeah. Had to get that first one out of there, so now he's sitting pretty. Mm. And he draws a walk to lead things off in the bottom of the third. There goes Max Clark. He's got himself a stolen base in the breakout. All right, guys, it's the bottom of the third right now. Detroit's up 1-0. Max just got walked, and he stole base, but they're out, and now Aiden's about to be back up at bat. Alright, so game's over. Tigers won 5 1. Max did pretty good. We're about to go, uh, I don't know, he was just signing autographs for like 30 minutes. And then he gave me the sign of this, which was kind of like, I don't know how I feel about it because I don't know. It made it look like he was talking to his girlfriend or something or fiance. No, yeah, he gave me the call signals a little weird, but uh, I guess we're just going to wait for a call from him and then see from there. I don't know. What about you, John? What are your thoughts on this whole experience? They know I'm going to take out the starters pretty early, but still pretty competitive. A lot of fans shut out, passionate fans. Let's go Detroit. Sitting out here, I think waiting for Max. He said the call me thing. Maybe there was some chick that he was saying call me to because I'm starting to think it wasn't me. He went Hollywood on us. But we do have this bat. Literally there's nothing, I don't even know. I don't know why we're filming. We just got contact from Max Clark. What's up, Sir, I haven't seen you in a few Holy, holy handshake. Okay, What's that? Pear shape. What? Okay, that's new. All right, I'm not really sure what exactly. What's up, brother? Yeah, I know, how you doing, bro? My phone died a minute ago. The Uber was supposed, or I don't know when my phone died actually. And I'm not really sure what happens when you order an Uber and your phone dies. Great job, bro. Yeah. All right, guys, so we wrapped up here at the Minnesota Twins Complex in Fort Myers. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Shout out to the Twins. Shout out to you guys, bro. Keep cooking. Keep making great stuff. Can't wait to work with you guys more in the future. Man. And as you guys know, we always do giveaways. So if you want to win a custom MLB jersey of your choice, just comment your Instagram and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And then thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one very, very soon. That's going to do it. Peace. Peace. Peace.